All right, there's this movie called Speed. There's a bunch of people stuck in an elevator with a bomb on it. And LAPD officers Jack Travin and Harry Temple are called in to disarm it. But the bomber doesn't like this. Don't mess with daddy. He sets off a small bomb that causes the elevator to start dropping. Jack and Harry pry the elevator door open. They start pulling people out, but the elevator keeps dropping more and more. They save everyone just before the elevator falls. The bomber is in the freight elevator and Jack and Harry drop in on him. The bomber grabs Harry and pulls out a detonator. Pop quiz, hot shot. He's strapped with explosives. If the bomber dies, the bomb goes off. Shoot the hostage. Jack shoots Harry and the bomber has to let him go. And then the bomber runs away. <laughs> The bomber is dead, and Jack and Harry get cool medals for being such tough cops. The next day when Jack is getting coffee, his friend the bus driver blows up. <laughs> then a payphone rings. It's the bomber. He's not dead. And he wants $3.7 million. Pop quiz, hot shot. There's a bomb on a bus. Oh, no. Jack races to stop the bus before it goes over 50 miles an hour and activates the bomb on it. He has to get on the bus while the bus is moving. A thug on the bus thinks that Jack is out to get him, so he pulls a gun, and it ends up going off and shooting the bus driver. Now Annie jumps behind the wheel. My license was revoked for speeding. Good, because you're going to have to keep this bus over 50 miles an hour, or it's going to blow up. There are several close calls where the bus almost drops below 50 miles an hour, including traffic, honk honk, a garbage truck, and a lady with a baby carriage. Cans! It was full of cans! Here comes Jack's boss, Mac, to try to get some people off the bus. Jack says that the bomber will blow off the bus if anyone tries to leave, but they arrange for the bus driver to get off because he's bleeding all over the place. Then some foolish lady tries to get off and she blows up. Interactive TV, Jack! Wave of the future! <laughs> uh oh. There's a gap in the freeway! No worries, this bus can jump! Woohoo! <laughs> Jack gets the idea to bring the bus to the airport so they can drive around in circles without any problems. The bomber lets Jack get off the bus so he can try to go get the money. Nothing tricky now. Jack gets on a dolly and tries to dismantle the bomb from underneath the bus. Don't get dead. Jack can't disable it and he almost gets run over by the bus, but he saves himself by jabbing a screwdriver into the gas tank. A passenger pulls Jack onto the bus. We're leaking gas? In the meantime, Harry finds out that the bomber is Howard Payne, former cop. Harry goes to the bomber's house to try to stop him. It's a trap! <laughs> Harry's dead. The bomber calls Jack and tells him to drop $3.7 million in a trash can. Jack realizes there's a camera on the bus, and that's how the bomber is able to see them. Mac gets a TV reporter to lock into the bus's camera signal. Make a tape and loop it so it runs over and over again. Luckily, the bomber was in the bathroom when they started looping the camera, and he didn't even notice. He also didn't wash his hands. What a villain. Time to get these people off the bus, because they're almost out of gas. Everyone gets out, except for Jack and Annie. They rig the accelerator and steering wheel so they have time to get off. They roll away to safety. The bus is out of control and drives into an airplane and explodes! <laughs> The bomber has no idea that the bus blew up. Jack and Annie take an ambulance to the drop-off location. The money gets dropped in the trash. The bomber realizes the camera is on a loop and gets really mad. The cops are gonna shoot the bomber when he goes to get the money. But he's a step ahead of them and is taking the money from a hole underneath the trash can. Jack jumps down the hole and goes after the bomber. Pop quiz, jerk face. But it's not the bomber, it's Annie. The bomber grabbed her when no one is looking and now she has a bomb strapped to her. The bomber takes Annie on a subway and handcuffs her to a pole. The bomber checks on his money, but ink explodes all over it. My money! The bomber hears Jack on top of the train and goes after him. They start fighting and it looks like the bomber is gonna win. Nope, he gets his head knocked off. Jack defuses the bomb on Annie, but she's still handcuffed to the pole. I don't have the key. The brakes are broken and the train won't stop. Wait a second, I'm gonna speed it up and jump the track. Perfect. They hold onto their butts and go crashing through a construction site, through a wall, and come out in the middle of Hollywood Boulevard. Relationships based on intense circumstances never work. Well, we'll just have to base it on sex then. They kiss and live happily ever after. Until speed two.